A Memphis woman accused of attacking two teenage girls and trying to run over several others with her car at a KFC last year is back behind bars tonight. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. This time police say that she slammed into her boyfriend's vehicle during a high-speed chase with the couple's baby in the back seat of her car. WRG's Melissa Moon is outside the Criminal Justice Center where the woman is facing a whole slew of charges. And Melissa, first of all, how is the baby doing tonight? Well, that baby was not hurt and is with relatives tonight. Her mother is facing charges of child abuse and neglect, reckless driving, reckless endangerment, and aggravated assault. But the victim's mom says it's not enough. Yeah, you call and tell me that. Mom, call the police, call the police. Turn it, turn it, kill me. Jacqueline Clear says her son called her at around 2 a.m. Monday, yelling that his on again, off again girlfriend, Tyranny Crawford, was trying to run him down with her car. I said, Money gone to the police station. I ain't heard the car. I ain't heard the car. She gonna tow up his car. Police say Casey Johnson was headed to his mom's house on Faxon when he realized Crawford was chasing him. They say cameras at Homes in Summer show she hit him so hard from behind it caused both vehicles to go airborne. The high-speed chase ended here at the Tillman Police Station. Johnson says he went there for help. Police say they found their nine-month-old in the back of Crawford's car and the baby wasn't in a car seat. I told the police that this girl is trying to kill my son. Clear says back in October, Crawford tried to hit both of them with her car in her yard. She drove that car through this yard and through them both yards. There are no court records of that incident, but in April, Crawford was charged with assault after Clear told police she swerved her car toward her in front of her house. Crawford is also facing five counts of aggravated assault after police say she tried to run over several people in the parking lot of this KFC on Jackson in 2020. Police say Crawford also punched a 13-year-old girl there and threw a 14-year-old girl to the ground, but haven't said why. That girl needs to be locked up because she do not need to be on the street, and I don't care who see it. Now, Crawford was also charged with harassment in another incident involving her boyfriend's mother. Tonight, she is locked up on a $50,000 bond. She goes before a judge here tomorrow on those new charges. Reporting live downtown, Melissa Moon, WREG News Channel 3.